Hello. How are you? How have you been? How things going in your world? I have uh, five slash six things that you can do with an EQ pedal that you may already know. Maybe you don't know. Hopefully this helps you a little bit. And keep in mind, I'm not going to get flamed a bit, they're not the only five or six things you can do with an EQ pedal, but they are five or six things you can do with an EQ pedal. So let's jump right into that right now. As you can see, I dressed up for the occasion. Got to have the workout pants on whenever you're doing EQ pedal stuff. Um, okay, so this is my Whitfield Telecaster. Put David Allen pickups in them, and I really like these David Allen pickups. Let me pause for a second because I got I got uh, a suggestion to all the YouTubers. Been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately. Something really annoys me. Whenever you're looking like this while you're doing videos, it's really annoying. That's the lens. That's what you look at. <sighs> my fellow YouTubers. My fellow friends. Yeah, stare at the lens, dude. It drives me crazy. Anyways, so, uh, Whitfield Telecaster, David Allen pickups, Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. The first thing is I'm going to show you what happens when you take an EQ and you put it after an overdrive or distortion or whatever, how it changes the EQ versus before. So we can change the uh, EQ of a pedal by putting it after. For this demonstration, I just have a Boss Blues driver, a Boss SD1, they're both stock, clean tone. Distorted tone without an EQ. So not a bad sound. I really, I mean, you know, it's a tube screamery type of circuit and I like it. Works really good for Fender type amps. Now just to uh, show you, with everything flat on that EQ, I'll kick it on and off, on and off. It's pretty neutral. I hear a complaint a lot that you may not like the mid hump or maybe the, the how the bass kind of cuts out on these this type of circuit, this tube screamery type of thing. Or maybe that it doesn't have enough presence to it. So we can adjust the EQ. Let's bump up a hundred a little bit, 200 a little bit more. Maybe 400 if we need it, bring 800 down a bit, bring 1.6 or 1.5, somewhere near there, down. Uh, then take your 6.4K, take your 6.4K, bump that up, and without the, without the EQ, with the EQ, So a cool trick, uh, cool trick on um, with the EQ pedal. If it's not glassy enough for you, just bump up that 6.4K. Gets a lot, a lot glassier. Maybe even around three and a half or four too. careful because if you bump it up too much, it gets super fizzy, super fizzy. So you don't want to do that too much. Another thing you can do outside of EQ is just use it for like a volume boost. You can use it like a regular booster just by moving the level up.
get a little uh, get a little boost there if you want. Another thing you can do is actually boost into an overdrive or distortion, and it uh, so you're going to get more gain that way. So if I just bump the volume on the equalizer on EQ, and uh, I'm running into a blues driver, uh, it's it, without moving any other slider, it's a full frequency boost. So my blues driver sound sounds like this. Now let's boost it. The thing about um, EQ pedals, whenever you're like a full frequency boost, is sometimes they can get a little flabby. So to uh, to fix that, I will actually cut the bass some, I raise the mids a little bit, and I'll still bump the level a little bit, but not quite as much. Okay, so with the blues driver on, So that's another use you can use. And you can do that with your amp too. You can hit the front end of your amp just like that and, uh, and get more gain from that as well. Okay, so we have found out by putting an EQ after our overdrives, then we can kind of color the sound of the whole palette there. Uh, we found out that if we run it into an overdrive or distortion, then we can use it as a boost. We also found out we can use it as just a volume boost by putting it after all the gain uh, pedals as well. If you just want to color the clean tone of your amp, then you can just leave the pedal uh, on all the time. So just the clean sound of this amp. So if I want just a little mids overall, I'm just going to bump them up somewhat. Bump up around 800 or so on this amp. Um, uh, maybe, maybe 3.2 just a smidgen. Not moving the level knob though. <laughs> Terrible booze leg. Squeaky clean, of course, but it's uh, it's cool to kind of just color your overall um, uh, EQ of your amp, so to speak. The last few tricks kind of go hand in hand, and to do that, I got to show you on the amp. So on this particular amp, we have a preamp out and a power amp in. What that basically means, I think I've said this before in another video, preamp out is like effects send. Power amp in is like effects return. So we're gonna go from that preamp out into the input of, a, of an EQ pedal. And then from the output of that EQ, we're gonna go into power amp in. That's gonna let us do a couple different things. One of the things it's gonna allow us to do is if, uh, if we're running our amp pretty loud or we're using the distortion channel at all on this amp, then we want to run that, in, we want to run the EQ pedal in the loop. That's important because it affects the distortion channel of the amp the same way it does the pedals over there. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can, um, we can make the distortion channel on these amps not suck. And I say that lovingly because I love Fender. I really do love Fender, but I don't know what you were thinking when you made this gate channel on these amps. They're terrible. We can EQ it and make it not sound as bad. Um, I actually modified this one, so I can't really demonstrate it, but for you guys who have these amps, what I can tell you is uh, cut some mids, 800K and around 1K or so, and then boost the bottom around four, uh, around 200. 
maybe a smidge at 400, maybe a smidge around 100. And then you're going to increase the presence too. So uh, I think it's like 6.4K or something on those boss EQ pedals. You're going to increase that just a little bit as well. Leave the thing on for when, anytime you're running that overdrive channel on uh, on this guy, on, on this amp here. Yeah, that thing, yeah. The last little trick is this. If you turn, if you run the, if you run the pedal flat, here, let me show you, let me show you. Okay, so as you can see, I've got it all hooked up here, and I kind of explained the EQ. You know, if if you want the distortion channel to be good, then you're gonna you're gonna boost down here just a little bit. You're gonna cut around here a little bit, uh, maybe not that drastically, just a little bit. Maybe boost around 6.4k or so. So you know, something sort of like that. And the other thing is the volume on these amps. If I recall correctly, they put a uh, linear taper on the pot rather than audio taper, which not important what that means but it, other than that's why the amp gets so loud so quickly two to four or i'm sorry two to three is like a gigantic volume jump and uh, you know once you get past four or so it doesn't get a whole lot louder um, maybe a, maybe a little bit but nothing like between two and three so what you can do is on your fancy little eq pedal okay run these flat and just run that volume all the way down with it on of course and that will give you a lot more range in that volume in fact you may actually need to bump that up just a little bit so that's uh that's a trick you can also use with these amps just so it's much more manageable at home if you happen to have like a volume pedal you can do the exact same thing just run the volume pedal ins and outs like i explained and uh control the volume with your volume pedal it's a better amp to use around home so you don't you know make your wife angry and get a divorce all right, so that's like five or six different uses, maybe seven, I didn't count really, but like seven, six or seven different uses for uh, an EQ pedal that you may or may not have known. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully uh, maybe you learned something that you didn't know before. Maybe, uh, maybe you have some more tricks you could tell me. So make sure you comment below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you like these kind of videos. And uh, we'll have a, next, a new one for you next week. See you then.